Do you guys want to customize your classical looking terminal on your MacBook into this beautiful looking terminal? So for that the first thing you have to do is download and install the item 2. So to download item 2 you just need to go to your favorite browser and search for item 2 and just click enter and just go to this first link from item2.com and down here you can see the option to download so just click on that and once the zip file is downloaded let me just go into this so in finder and double click to install so once this is installed so let me just click on this item and just click on open just click on check automatically and just move to the application folders so here you can see zss as, as my default terminal so if you see bash as your default terminal so you can just change that by typing chss hyphen s slash bin and just type zss and just click enter and enter the password of your mac and if you just type command and n so this should change bash into the zss if you are having the bash as your default terminal so since i have already got zss as my default terminal so i don't need to make any changes so let me just close this from here and the next thing we have to do is we just have to download and install oh my zss as well so for that just go to your favorite browser and search for oh my zss and just go to this first link from oh my zss assets and just click on install oh my zss and just copy this command from here so let me just copy this command from here and just go to the item and just type command and v to paste and just click enter so this should install oh my zss into your terminal so here you can already see some changes in interface so if i just type ls here so you can see oh my zss has been successfully installed into our terminal so once oh my zss is installed so we just need to install power level 10k as well so for that just go to your browser again and search for power level 10k and just go to this first link from github.com so down here in the documentation you can see the installation so just click on that and down here you can see the installation instruction in oh my zss so since we have already installed oh my zss so let me just directly copy the command from here and just go to the item and just type command and v to paste and just type enter so once we clone this repository we just have to set the zss theme into the power level 10k so for that we just have to add this zss team into the dot zss rc so for that let me just type nano and just type dot zss rc just just type that and just click enter and down here on this zss theme so we just need to replace this by let me just type backspace to clear this and we just need to copy this power level 10k so let me just copy until here so let me just copy and go to the item 2 again and just type command and v to paste and just type control o to write and just click enter and just type control x and just type command and n so you will see the instruction to install the mesh Leonard font so you just need to type y and this will automatically download the mesh lgs font so once this is done so we just need to restart the item 2 so for that you can directly type command and q to quit so just type ok so once you quit the item so you just need to open it again so for that just type command and space to open the spotlight search and just type item so this should again open the item 2 and we just need to make some of the configuration for the changes so just type y and just press y again just press y and again yes so i just like this rainbow so you can just choose according to your wish so i will be choosing the rainbow so for that just type 3 and i will choose unicode and i just want to show the 24 hour format time or you can just choose the 12 hour format as well so just choose that and i just want the first one which is angled so you can choose the vertical slanted as well as round so i will choose the angled and i will choose the sharp one and i will choose the rounded so just type five for that and i like two lines so for that i will choose two and the next one is i just like the solid so for that i will just type three 
and I also want the left so I will type 2 and I need the dark one so I will choose 3 and I just want the sparse so I will choose 2 and I just want this many icons so I will type 2 and the prompt flow I just want the concise one so I will just type 1 and I just want the first one just type Y and just choose the one just type Y and once this is done so you can see the changes are already made here so if I just type command and n to show you here so you can see the changes has been already made so if I just type ls and if I just type cd desktop so you can see the beautiful looking icon with the beautiful looking terminal here so now if I just go to the terminal here on our default terminal so you can see something is wrong here so this is because of the font so we just have to change the font and this should work in our default terminal as well so for that just open terminal and just click on this terminal just go to the preferences here and on this font you just need to click on change here and just click on this family so we just need to change it into the Meslo LGS and app so if I just choose this font here and let me just close it from here so you can see on our default terminal as well so it's looking great here so now I just want to show you how it looks for the repository or any folder with the git initialization so for that let me just go to the desktop and let me just create one folder let me call it demo and let me just go into the demo and let me just initialize this demo folder with git so for that let me just type git init so if you haven't got git installed into your system i have already got video for that you can just check out on the description so once you install git you can just check out how you can do for git initialization so let me just click on enter so this should initialize this repo with git so you can already see here the name of the branch and it's showing git it means that this folder is initialized with the git so if i want to add some of the files so for that let me just type touch and just type demo.java or you can create any file and just click enter so you can see it's already showing here one file is remaining to add so if i just type git add and dot so since one file is already added so it's showing yellow sign here and if i just type commit git commit hyphen m and demo commit so you can see the floss sign has been removed so this is how it looks thank you so much for watching if you like my video be sure to like and subscribe i will see you in the next one